What are we talking about? Do we have stuff to do? Yeah, I was waiting for you to pick a pet peeve that wasn't related in directly. This huh? is potpourri, man. All right, have let's talk about mission. Jeopardy. We're going to talk the about the contestant mission. doesn't know what he's getting into. He's saying potpourri for 400, Alex. And then it's right. And then some crazy question. I don't this know what it's about. This is the Drive to School podcast, and I'm Pastor Goodman. You've been listening to Pastor Lead Sal. We are talking today about missions. It's a surprise, buddy. How you doing? That's a horrible subject. Can't wait for this. <laughs> <laughs> missions. Missions. Like the like the uh, buildings that uh, monks live in down in San Antonio. Why do they do that? The missions. I don't know. You tell me. You lived in San Antonio. W- wasn't it sort of building churches on the outposts of of where uh, Western civilization was, so that they could preach the gospel to all nations? Sounds good to me. It's going to be a really short podcast if you're not going <laughs> to. All right. So this is potpourri. What are we talking about? I missions. Know mission, but specifically, what are we talking about? What type Let's talk about missions as if they were done under the law or the gospel, because those are two very different forms. So you can talk about doing missions under the law. Like if you don't witness enough, people will go to hell. And I think that's sort of deep down everybody's fear, right? That there's this, this idea that um, there are a whole bunch of people that don't know about Jesus. And it's your job to make them know about Jesus. And there, even though you can't save yourself, you can save other people. What do you think? Um, it sounds right. Should we just go for that then? That's good. That uh, somebody yeah. else's salvation is in your hands. You're you bad guest. Um, no, I don't want. I don't want my salvation in other people's in, in in my hands. I don't want other people's salvation in my hands. I'm out. Let me finish, man. I set things up, and you just run with it. What this? But, this is a stick. Yeah. My po- no, my no. It's not a stick. My point is, um, that sounds right. That's that's always how bad theology and heresy start. It sounds right. It sounds like that's the way that it should go. And if you're speaking logically, right, uh, then yeah, it sounds correct, right? How will uh, how will people know unless they hear? How will they hear unless somebody is sent, right? So uh, I got to go so that they can hear. Otherwise, they're going to die, and they're going to die in their perdition and and go to hell. Um, all of this sounds right. It sounds as if uh, if I or somebody doesn't get their butts down to the Amazon. Uh, all of those people who are still living in the Amazon, uh, it's up. To, it, their sins is on me. I didn't do everything that I could to get the gospel down to them. Well, okay, okay. So, are you gonna are you gonna actually point out what's wrong with it, though? Well, what's wrong with it is that you're you're putting salvation, like kind of like you said, you don't want to do this. You're putting salvation into a human's hands, into your hands. Um, you're saying that uh, uh, somebody's uh, 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 eternal resting place uh, is all based upon whether or not uh, you've done missions good enough, right? This also goes against what we uh, we believe in um, uh, and, and confess in the third article of the creed, uh, that it's the Holy Spirit's job uh, to call, gather, enlighten, and sanctify his one true church, right? Right, That's but the Holy thing. Spirit can't work unless you help him, right? Because he's very impotent. Correct. No. No, not correct. Not correct. Not correct. No, that's not correct. No, this is the thing, right? So the the Lord has established the church in order to actually go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and teaching them everything I have commanded, and though I'm with you to the very end of the age, right? We've got the whole thing. Jesus is saying that right there. I've established this church to do this very thing. Mm -hmm. But it's his church, and it's his word. And he's going to accomplish it in his good time, with his good purpose. Now, what we want to do then is then practically say, okay, but who's who's in the church? It's you. Okay, so that means you got to get your butt out there and start knocking on doors. And it's all about you. This is the weird thing in regard to, uh, to whether we just want to talk about very personal missions of, of you uh, uh, and your neighbor, or if we want to talk about missions as a whole of the church going and doing this, um, 
we don't say, okay, the Holy Spirit's going to do it, and uh, hey, the Holy Spirit has, a, we have this understanding of election, there's a certain amount of people we're going to be in heaven, they're going to get into heaven no matter what, so I'm just going to kick back and sit there, because God said Rick's going to be in heaven, so Rick will get in heaven somehow. Always. What's that? It's always Rick. Well, I don't know anybody named Rick, so that's why I use Rick. <laughs> I could say Harrison. Harrison won't be there, or will be there, I don't know. Huh. <laughs> but do you see where I'm going with that? Yeah. Okay, good. I forgot what I was talking about. That's why. Oh, okay. I, there's so, somebody so, here to help me out. <laughs> so God works through means then, and, and he is the one then doing the sending. That that it's it's yes, somebody does need to preach. So that's why God sends, and that's why his word takes care of this. What what's joyful then is that you get to be a part of it. And and, and really, if it is God's church, the reason I think so many of the times we, we sort of try and rip this back out of his hands and, and make it our own burden is that we want him to work faster. I, I think fear drives 90% of missions and it's to our detriment. Um, because we, we end up really desperate to make somebody join something that we're convinced is about to fall apart. And um, inside of all of that, that desperation, it, it rubs off ugly. It, it starts apart from hope, apart from Jesus, apart from anything other than the what ifs that are already answered in an empty tomb. And a God who said, hell will not prevail against this church. And here I get to not only make you a part of it, but I'm going to reach out and get other people to be a part of it too. And sometimes I'll use you. And if you really, really are going to be so stubborn that you refuse to do this thing, I'll make stones cry out. Stones will mission will will witness to people if you won't do it but but in all of it the, the question is simply does the holy spirit work or can you hinder him um from from doing his job is, is there is there a way that jesus can say none that were given to me shall be lost and i can come along and say yeah but try this or or, or can we can we rest on something certain see missions done under the law it, it does what the law does it shows us our sin it shows us all the places where where things should not work and and are gonna fail and missions done under the gospel is actually the thing that has the power to save for the the law cannot save you it, it's it's the gospel missions done under the gospel is simply this christ has already established a church by his resurrection by his sending out of of, of the apostles to to preach and administer the sacraments something that hell cannot prevail against and it, it's going to grow because it has a life of its own. Yeah, it's, the, it's the beauty of how our Lord, uh, uh, how he has authority um, over everything, which uh, is what he says, right? Uh, uh, Ephesians talks about this. When, when he ascends into heaven, he has authority. Uh, all things are placed under his feet. And, and sometimes I think we, uh, we get into this thought process, again, like you said, that we can maybe hinder the work of the Holy Spirit, or we could do this, or we could do that, or, or, or maybe even more along the lines of this, uh, uh, all things, every single thing has been preordained uh, to happen exactly how God wanted it to be. Instead of saying, no, that our, our Lord is actually the Lord of everything. He has authority over all things, and that he will bring to fruition his church in and through the temporal things of this world, so that it isn't upon me, uh, to necessarily do it, because yes, my Lord is going to do it. He's going to do it through his church, through the word and sacraments. Um, the law is there for me to proclaim it. The law is there for the church to proclaim it, uh, but in a good way. Go and make disciples. This is a very good thing. Here's the proclamation of our Lord. Um, and for you, it's, yeah, you, you don't get a pass uh, for, for never speaking about Jesus to your neighbor. Um, our Lord's never going to say, good job they didn't need to hear about me um but at the same point in time uh let's not think ourselves so important that um that i am keeping rick out of out of heaven our lord's gonna work and he does but then again let's just take the law and let it speak clearly and then take the gospel and let it speak clearly and when there seems to be a, a contradiction that i can't understand Let's not use my own fallible, finite reason and logic to try and connect the pieces. Our Lord says, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And lo, I will be with you always to the very end of the age. We confess that I cannot, by my own reason or strength, come to the Lord Jesus, right? But the Holy Spirit's called me by the gospel, sanctified me with gifts, lighten all this stuff. I forgot it, whatever. In the same way, he calls, gathers, sanctifies, and keeps the entire Christian church. The way that he brought you to faith is the same way that he brings everybody to faith, meaning it's all the work of the Holy Spirit. And yes, he works through means, and he works through the church, and he works through you speaking, and he works through your pastor speaking. Fine. Let's just let it stand just like that in that very place. The Holy Spirit is the one working, 
And go tell somebody about Jesus. That's good for Rick. Okay. I want to see Rick. I want to see him in heaven. He's a good okay. guy. We're out.